Valkyrian versus Nalfurian. I could keep the whole hand, maybe not the, not the Jade Spirit, but the ultimate infestation just wins the mirror, right? I think this is a strong coin play when we follow up with the Jade Spirit. We still have to innovate for the ultimate infestation, it's still pretty nice. Mmm, this might be even better. Let's play a little bit around that that Drake and that um, spreading plague. Engaging TC-130, mental dislocator! And... We exactly have 16, right? Aya is pretty nice against Rogue, but I don't think it's a keep with Innovate. Not sure, but I think against Rogue I don't shuffle. Let's see what he is.
Do we just ramp? If we ramp now, we can play Aya next turn, right? We could play 2-2-J two, two, together, I like it. Oh, he didn't attack with patches. No, I don't think Skulking Geist is actually that insane. Because you still get pretty huge jades, it's just the infinite ones are not that scary anymore, right? The infinite jades are not that crazy. So you can win the infinite. The infinite value fight against Jade Root is then winnable. <laughs> yeah, Sap's not really that crazy when I don't really have anything in my hand. This guy's a toast. I saved this for something huge, right? I don't think, like, how is he going to get value out of the SI here? In the worst case, I just get a 1-5 for the SI on the board, right? So... That's it. Oh, we get Innovate. That's not good. <laughs> That's not good. That's a dead draw. He would have played Edwin by now, right? So let's just try to kill him next turn. We are kind of all in, but what's he going to do against that 1-5? It's not really clear. Obviously, he's I expect him to play a Wild Spin Slayer on the 5-5, five five, but... Well played, I guess. Nice. Guys, give me a minute, we are going to fight the boss. Must be preserved. Pretty good in the mirror, but also not a keep. Come on, ultimate infestation. Oh, it's aggro druid. Hmm. Okay, we might not need the ultimate infestation here. Warriors come out to play. Thank you, Master4048, for the follow, man. I really appreciate that. 
Mm. Let's just ramp, I suppose. The bot's not really that threatening. Ooh, Fletchling is scary though. So the options here are Innovating Primordial Drake Silencing the Fletchling Or Coining Spreading Plague He has 5 attack on the board I think I just innovate the Primordial Drake Maybe I should have opt for the Spreading Plague, but then... I don't know. It looked a bit weird. Because then I don't want to play the Primordial Drake next turn because it's going to damage all my taunts, right? This will get value anyway, I think. Okay, we can just silence this and... And he's probably going to surrender even. Black Knight top deck would also be quite nice, right? <laughs> Only hero power to get rid of that beast. That's not that great, right? Because next turn I cannot play Malfurion then. And it gives me less spreading plague value, so I'm not going to do that. Yeah. Punished. A little, little bit. Not too crazy though, I don't think. The Hydra is here. Ah, we get the Black Knight after the silence on the taunt. Let's just keep sending the Hydra into taunts. Next turn, with that Spellbreaker and the Hero Power, we might just be able to kill that Hydra, right? What are the jades? The jades are one ones. Hmm. A tangled web. I think we need to develop this guy. Just to get something on the board. And then this one needs to go here. So that we are able to kill the Hydra next turn no matter what. Uh oh. Does he have a buff? Uh oh. He might have us here, honestly. Well, I mean, we have the spreading plague, right? Mm, we want to kill this one. I guess dealing 3 damage to his face is the best. No, I think actually it's better to damage maybe this one even. Wait. Um, it doesn't really matter the ordering here. I think I like the extra mana a little bit more than killing one extra guy here. If you top deck Savage Raw now, then we are really screwed, but... 
Oh, you scumbag. Wow. And we played Primordial Drake already, right? Wow. What a draw here for him. Okay, whatever. So he has 15 damage. Oh, we got another spreading plague. There we go. Uh, I have five stars. It's the final boss, Connor. At least he didn't top deck the second savage draw. I can see. We made it! Everybody's favorite, Druid, yay! Surprise!